Hi everyone, John Paul Brionis here from InMotion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress in Motion series. Today I'm going to show you how to install and set up the EZWP SMTP plugin in WordPress. Okay, first I'm going to show you how to install the EZWP SMTP plugin, and then I'm going to show you how to set it up. And so to begin, let's go ahead and log into our WordPress admin dashboard. If you don't know how to do that, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Click that to go to our guide on how to log into your WordPress dashboard. Once you've logged into the dashboard, let's click plugins here on the left. It'll bring you to this plugins page. You'll see any existing plugins already listed here. Since we're going to install a new one, we're going to click the add new button here. When you do that, it's going to bring you to the featured page, which just shows featured plugins. Let's go ahead and search in the box here. We're going to type easy WP SMTP. And then hit enter. When you do that, you'll see the Easy WP SMTP plugin come up here. And the reason why I recommend using this plugin is because it has over 70,000 active installs, so it's by far the most popular plugin for adding SMTP. And so we're going to click the Install button here next to it. Once you see that it's been successfully installed, just like that, your version may differ, go ahead and click the Activate Plugin link here. At this point, your Easy WP SMTP plugin has been installed and activated. And now we're going to actually go and configure the settings for it. And so if you're just logged into the dashboard, you can actually just click the plugins link to get to this page. And I'm just going to do it to show you it brings you to this plugins page. You'll see Easy WP SMTP listed here. Click the settings link underneath. In order to complete this setup, we're going to need our SMTP settings. You can get your settings in cPanel. If you don't know how to get them, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Click that to go to our full guide on how to view your email settings in cPanel. I'm just going to go ahead and log into my cPanel real quick in a separate tab and pull my email settings up. Once you log into cPanel, I'm going to go down to the email, email accounts button here, mail. I'm going to scroll down to the email account that I'm using for the SMTP settings for, and I'm going to configure email client. And then you'll see your SMTP settings here in the outgoing server section. One is the non-SSL settings, and one is the SSL settings. And so this is where I'm getting my settings from is this outgoing server section here. Of course, the username's there. The password is the password that you created when you set up the account. You can always change that as well. If you don't know how to change your email password, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Click that to go to our full guide on how to reset your email password. All right, so I'm going to go back into my WordPress now that I have my settings, and I'm going to fill in the fields. The first field you're going to want to put is the from address, which is the email address you're using the SMTP settings for. In my case, I'm just using jp at example.com. The from name, when the person receives the email, it will be in the from field as it describes here. Okay, and for the SMTP host, that's going to be that outgoing server name here. So I'm going to copy that. And keep in mind your settings are probably going to differ from this video, so you're going to want to look in your actual cPanel to find your settings. And then in the host name, replace the one that's there with the settings that you got from your cPanel. Make sure if you're copying and pasting you don't have any extra spaces or blank spaces at the beginning or end of it, what you're copying and pasting. Uh, for the encryption type, I'm going to say SSL. The port is listed here. It is 465 since I'm using the SSL settings.
Yes, make sure yes is checked for SMTP authentication. Your SMTP username is going to be your full email address. You can also see it in your settings here you, uh, next to username. The password, of course, is going to be the password for that email address. Once you've entered all the fields in as needed, click the Save Changes button. You'll see the setting saved, message, settings saved message here. And you'll notice that this still says, please configure SMTP credentials. Once you go back to the plugins page, that message should go away. So I'm, as a test, I'm going to go ahead and click plugins. And notice the message went away. But I'm going to also click the settings here again. And you'll notice it doesn't uh, notify you that you need to enter your settings anymore. And at this point, your WordPress website is going to use your SMTP settings by default to send any emails from your website. For example, if you get a new comment on a post, the email will be sent through your SMTP now. Thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress in Motion series. Feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.